Hi, it is Andrea from Club Side Kids. I'm so glad you're here with me to do the activity. Today we're going to be doing a, an activity experiment challenge um, that's going to look at Newton's law of motion. It says that an object at rest is going to stay at rest unless an outside force is acted upon it. Kind of like when you're in bed and you're tired, you stay there until mom or dad forcibly gets you out of bed. So what we're using instead of you in a bed is an egg. So you need a cup, a glass of water, I'm just using this because it's a little bit bigger. You need a paper plate and a kind that's a little bit more sturdy, not one of the super light ones. A toilet paper too. And then an egg. Now you need to make sure that your egg does not fall down into your tube. The first tube that I was going to use was a little bit too big and my egg got stuck in the tube. So your challenge, you need to get this egg in this, in this glass of water without using two hands and without really grabbing anything. How are you going to do that? Take a second to think about it. So the trick, we're going to use Newton's law of motion. This egg is at rest. It's going to stay at rest until something acts upon it. What you're going to do is you are going to take your hand and you are going to hold it about here and hit the plate. Now you don't want to hulk it so that it flies across the room taking out everything in between. Okay, but you do want to hit it a little bit. As you hit it and it moves out of the way, it's going to take the toilet paper tube with it. Now, the egg, it's sitting there, it's at rest. When all of a sudden the plate and the tube are taken away, What's going to take over? What force? What natural force is going to take over and pull it down? That's right, it's gravity. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this to work. So you just, let's turn the handle this way. Okay. And that's how you do it. So go ahead and give it a couple tries. See if that works again. It's based on Newton's law of motion. Your egg was at rest. Everything below it moved. Gravity took over, pulling it down. That was the force that was acted upon it. It also has to do with inertia. Alrighty, I hope that you have a good time experimenting with this, and I will see you tomorrow.